When the Golden Saber succeeds, Golden Saber succeeds magnificently. All 12, no issues. Greetings, Discreet Defenders. We are going to start off today with a chronograph test. We're going to do three rounds of 380. First up is going to be the Hydroshock Deep. That's a 99 grain round. Interesting design. Look it up if you need to know more. Next round we're going to do is going to be the Remington 102 grain Golden Saber. Very heavy for caliber. Focus on that. The last but not least is going to be the Federal HST. So far I only have two mags for the G42, so we're going to have to reload before we shoot the HSTs. They're also a 99 grain round. And the winner, based on muzzle energy, is going to be the round that we test in ballistic gel today. The G42 has an extra half inch of barrel. Based on my test last week, I decided that I would retest some of these old rounds and see if they actually do better out of the G42. All right, like I said, first up, that Federal Hydroshock Deep. Five rounds, and... We have a jam from the G42. <laughs> I guess even perfection can go wrong. Let's just lock that, lock that open. Drop that magazine. Pull that round out of there and start over again. One more time. <laughs> Hydra shock deep. Yeah, loaded this time. All right, now. I'll probably, before I get any criticism about not having a proper backstop, I do have a proper backstop. You just can't see it. Gonna shoot about five feet away. Eight forty-eight. Eight sixty-six. Eight thirty-two. Eight forty-three. And 852. Good energy on those 99 grain Hydroshock Deep. High of 866, low of 832, and a five shot average of 848 feet per second. And now let's shoot the Remingtons. 102 grain Golden Saber. And those feet okay. No problem, same distance back. 914. 896. 930. 766. I'm gonna declare that an error. I didn't feel any difference with that round. 915. I'm going to load one more to make sure I get a good five shot average. And then I'll crunch the numbers off camera. You know what? I might have gotten some powder spray in there because I am shooting from only five feet away. But I know I normally don't have this problem with 380 where I have to back up to seven feet. But with these, I don't know. I'll back up to seven feet then with this round number five. 9.52. Good gracious. I'll have to run the numbers on those and see what we're actually getting. And I'll post them to the screen. Last up, we're going to do Federal HST. going to take me a minute to reload. Really like my G42 so far. All right. Make sure that string is deleted. Getting a good five feet back, maybe a bit more. 865. 879. 873. 854. And 883. So the Federal HST definitely coming in as the second most powerful of these rounds which is kind of disappointing i really feel like they should make that hydroshock deep 
a little bit stronger. Let's just review that since we have it here. High of 883, low of 854, average of 870 feet per second. So obviously the Remington being the heaviest of the three and also the fastest of the three is going to uh, going to be the winner of this round and it will go on to the gel block test. So we'll set that up and be back in a minute. All right, we are back with the gel block portion of the test. We are set up to shoot Remington Golden Saber 380 Auto 102 grain bronze jacketed, brass jacketed, whatever it is, hollow point. Uh, muzzle velocity claimed is 815 feet per second. We are seeing much higher velocities than that, especially out of the G42 with its extra half inch barrel, 3.25, 3.26, whatever the list is. Now the first test is gonna be the denim test. So I've got four layers of crisp new heavy denim set up. And this time I have a full, almost a 17 inch columnar gel ready to go. It's really cold. It's right around 31 degrees out here, but I uh, may have suffered a little bit of frost damage last night due to my uh, primitive refrigeration capabilities out here. Got the gel block backed up by water and the water backed up by tree stumps. We are going to capture these things and no matter what happens. And I'm going to have to shoot fairly precisely because we have some narrow gel blocks to work with today. And yeah, I do believe that went where I wanted it. A slight expansion signature maybe, but it does look like we've clogged up and over-penetrated. We'll have to see if we have any kind of expansion on that. That round is in the water jug, uh, which is fairly opaque in this situation. We'll, uh, we'll line up and shoot the bear gel, and then we'll check on that round and see if we got any kind of expansion out of it. <laughs> yeah, that bear gel expanded pretty good. And it's gone just over 10 inches as per Golden Saber's traditional performance. But I think what I'm going to do right now, before all the water leaks out, I am going to try to line up and reshoot that denim that denim test just to make sure we're definitely not getting expansion out of the golden saber yep all four layers oh and this one <laughs> this one definitely expanded Follow that track down. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, almost. You can see the two different. Here, I'll zoom right in here. See the two different tracks as it went right past the uh, the previous the bear gel test. <laughs> that was close. But here's that denim test entry. Nice expansion signature and total expansion. So that's not bad. Let's line it up again and measure measure that penetration depth. Line that up right there with the uh, with the edge of the gel. Okay, so it's entering right here. So I need to sort of visually hang that off just a bit, and then follow that track up to. Uh, yeah, no, the front of it. It just passed the 11 inch mark. So that's that second second denim test, and we did indeed get good expansion out of that. And then we'll jump out that other denim shot. The one that appears to have failed. Aha! Yeah, that's a that is a complete fail. That is different from what we saw on the Browning. We're gonna have to test these two side by side in the same block. I think that's gone all the way back and got a chunk of the tree stuck in it. All right, let's bust out the caliper and grab those expanded rounds out of the, out of the gel. Now we're gonna go for the denim 
the expand the second denim shot first <laughs> and oh my gosh my fingers are cold turn that sucker on give me a, a zero and now we got one pedal sticking out Makes it pretty easy to decide which way is the widest expansion. Boy, that golden saber. It has such jagged edges. 644 of an inch. 64 caliber. Dang, that, that's, just, that's just a nasty bullet. I would hate to be shot with that thing. I would think that would uh that would that would slice flesh pretty pretty brutally. 0.645 of an inch. But remember, you have a 50% failure rate on that. All right, let's take out the bear gel, the bear gel shot. And I think with this one, it's best to come at it from the end because it did not go very far into that second block. And here's that bear gel shot, probably widest this direction. 6595 is 648. It's a little bit wider, but you can see the consistency between the denim, the denim expansion and the bear gel expansion. When the golden saber succeeds, golden saber succeeds magnificently. So that was your 102 grain golden saber 380 tested from a G42. Next time I come out here, I expect to have some plus P rounds to test out of the heavy springed Glock. Thanks, folks. This is Dave for DDR. Have another great week. All 12. No issues.